So in this Serato tip, I'm gonna show you how to permanently delete a track from your collection. This normally is when you've got a duplicate, you spot two tracks together in your library and you think, I wanna get rid of one of them. So you delete it and what happens? It reappears again mysteriously. What's going on? How can we fix it? That's what you're gonna find out. Right, so have a look here. Here's two tracks which are the same and I wanna get rid of one of them. So you hit delete on your keyboard and it says press control and delete to delete. So first lesson, you hold down control on your computer or command and then you hit delete. So there you go, it's gone. So that's not much of a tip, is it? Trouble is, you close Serato down, you bring some more tunes in, you do all that good stuff, and then suddenly at a DJ gig, at some point in the near future, this happens. Two of them again. So what's going on here? Why didn't it delete? Well, you need to understand what Serato does and doesn't do with your music. Serato doesn't copy your music into its own library or into any other place. All it does when you introduce music to Serato is say, okay, uh, he or she has shown me that this file exists and it's kept here, right? So when you hit delete, all Serato is doing is saying, this person doesn't want me to know about this track anymore. It doesn't delete it from where it found it because it never took it in the first place in order to be able to delete it. So what you've got to do is go and find that track as well as deleting it from Serato and delete the second copy from where it actually is on your computer. So luckily, that's really easy to do. You can do it in the middle of your gig. It takes about two seconds and here's how to do it. So you highlight the track that you don't want to keep anymore and the big trick is you press Command and R or control and R. That's a keyboard shortcut and that does a really, really clever thing. It opens the exact folder and highlights the exact file in your operating system. There it is. So now all I have to do is delete that from there, which as I said, it's going to take you about a second. So that is now gone. And now back in Serato, uh, I have to just press Control or Command and Delete and press Delete there and it's gone from Serato as well. And by the way, if you didn't do that in Serato, next time you loaded Serato up, it would have a little question mark by it and it would be in orange in order to tell you that that track can't be found. And then you could just press Delete again. So that is how to permanently get rid of duplicate, those horrible, annoying duplicate tracks that always seem to pop up again once you've deleted them once in Serato. So if you found this useful, please do like, share and follow wherever you are watching this. We'd really appreciate it. And check back again very soon for another tip here at Digital DJ Tips.